Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video how you can transfer data from the internal storage to the microSD card at the Samsung Galaxy A15. Yeah, for that we will need the File Explorer for, so there's one pre-installed, so we don't need to download an extra app for. Okay, where you can have it, so just swipe up here so that you're in the app drawer where all the apps are. And we will need now the first point here, the Samsung folder, and this one contains an app named My Files. Okay, this app have a nice... Uh, Thing here in categories, everything is organized like the images, videos, audio files, and so on. Pretty nice, but we will need this point here the internal storage. Just tap on it, and now we have all the folders which one contains data which one are able to copy or move to the SD card. Okay. Um, I recommend to you to start with the photos and videos you have done with the camera because this kind of data is taking a lot of storage. Where you can find it here at the DCM folder. Tap on DCIM, go on camera, and here they are, all the photos and videos you have done with your camera. Okay, choose now one of these pictures you want to transfer, a long press it, because then it's marked, huh? and I can mark also other ones here, and if you want, you can select them all here on top, huh? just like that, and then all are selected. Now you have two options. You can copy these files, or you can move it. Huh? Copy them if you want to have something for the safety and move it if you want to have more storage on the internal storage. Now, we want to have more storage, so let's go and move. Okay, now they are marked and so on. Now. Okay, we go back some steps here with the arrow, or you can go also on the folder here with the house in it to be back in the main view. Okay, now we need to go to the SD card. Okay, I really recommend to you to create folders here, like in my case. Because if you uh, bring all the files in there, um, you completely lose, lose the overview. Uh, you don't have any idea where you can find your uh, files after. Uh. Okay, for to create folders, uh, just go here on the three points, go and create folder. You can give it also an own name and so on, and then it's much better organized. Okay, I've created already a DCM folder, and uh, as well a camera folder. You can give it also another name, of course. And yeah, here we are. And if you're in the folder you want to have your files in, just go then here on Move here. And that's it. The files are transferred. Pretty easy, huh? Let me go back again because I want to show you something else. Let's go on the internal storage again because um, the same thing we have done with files, we can do it with folders as well. Just long press one of these folders and it's marked. No? Now you can mark also other ones and copy or move them completely. Huh? But please take care that these kind of folders don't contain any system data and so on. So the best way is always to do it with files directly because then you can be sure that nothing goes wrong. And yeah. Okay, let me show you something else. What is also pretty cool. Go in the camera, go on the symbol here for the settings. Look now for the point, uh -huh. storage location. And you should choose it like in my case here, SD card. No? If you have actually the internal storage in, just change it to the SD card because that means uh, whenever you uh, take a picture or a video, uh, it goes directly to the SD card and you save a lot of time because then you don't have to transfer it by your own and so on. No? So yeah, pretty nice. I hope I could help you with this video and answer your question. And yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me a thumbs up. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for and I've created also some other videos if you're interested in with some more tips and tricks and so on. You can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for all your support. And yeah, maybe the next time. <laughs> Ciao.